Okay, hello, welcome to Resident Evil Village. Um, yeah, let's put all that. So, I just bought Village yesterday, and, um, yeah, I just couldn't get through Biohazard. <laughs> it was too much, it was too much. I got through the, um, I got through to the, um, basement, but, yeah, I just watched a playthrough <laughs> for the rest of the series. <sighs> Let's get a recap. Um, yeah. Okay. Where to start? My name? It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. Okay. I was looking for my wife, who disappeared. I got an email from her. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. She wasn't thinking right. She attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. Mm -hmm. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. The people who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. We fought the fucked up family. Didn't was able die, to treat right? The others did. I don't think Lucas did, right? Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddy showed up and yeah, saved the both of us. I never really played the last Resident Evil game, so I don't know who Chris is. <laughs> I know he's from past games, but is that enough? Yeah, I don't know. I really who don't he... want to talk about what happened anymore. It's all over now. Cool. Bonuses, movies. Cool. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. This is from the but the trailer, forest greeted right? them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a clip of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. 
Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beasts. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. I know the daughter goes missing, right? That's what this game's about, okay, the daughter. Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. So she's blocked it all out again. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. <sighs> Once you're a big girl, we'll have a drink together, all right? Oh, Mia. What a miracle. Three years ago, I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. <sighs> Our taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has. Mia makes everything by hand, so this stuff keeps piling up. I'm glad I don't have to, like, walk around top of the door anymore. <laughs> or maybe just open like that, because I actually have the baby. They're there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Your mom and I love this song so much. It also makes sense Mia makes everything by hand since food was, I think, what infected you in the other house, right? <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Committee who completed their investigation on the 18th into the Dolby Toxic Gas Leak in Louisiana, 2017, they concluded the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas. 
that had built up in the in the mud rock under the area. Jack Baker and his family who were exposed to the gas perished. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to have been nearby, but their current whereabouts are unknown. The entire area has been closed off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years before the area is habitable again. Okay. And how did Everyone's they... Everyone's forgotten about this already. Yeah, how did they explain the missing people? <laughs> how did they cover that up? They just forgot about it? Almost there, honey. another fight I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up how do you accidentally mention what happened three years ago what we finally settled down on our new life in Europe Europe and can bring Rose up properly but I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it can we, but can we really just forget everything pretend it didn't happen shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging in over our heads we owe her that much, at least. I know Mia knows this, too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Okay. Uh, Rosemary Winters. Okay. Results for additional fungal pathogen tests will be provided by BS BSAA. <sighs> Rose is fine. <laughs> well, hi there, little Rose. <laughs> it's not paranoia if they're really out to get you. Okay, I was gonna say it doesn't turn. <laughs> He's just really slow. Oh, okay. You have to push left for it to go to the next page. That's weird. I wish it could stay like this forever. You know it's not. Can't keep your mother waiting. She's scary when she's angry. That doesn't sound good. There I don't like go, the how, that, how that sounds. Don't you worry. <laughs> I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. She's gonna be gone, huh? Something's gonna take her. Oh my god, what? You're running now. So weird. <laughs> I think I looked everywhere. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be... Seriously? 
think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so... <sighs> Mia, get down! I think it's too late for that, yeah. God. Chris? What yeah. the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! Is it so say no? What? Why? But it's been three years already. Why didn't they do this before? Maybe they found something with Rose. Is she infected? Oh, move. With her? All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off the Fuck. What the hell happened to you?
there should be another officer around here, right? <laughs> Unless he was in the car. Anything. What? Is that a person thing? I feel like Ethan should know better than to go into random houses, but, you know. It'd be really nice if I could see more than a foot in front of me.
I do realize this is a really bad idea. What did all this? Yeah, let's go find out. Oh, a map! Oh! And a journal. Files. Tips. Where the hell am I? We're in the village. How fun. Good. Always a good sign. But what? Killed him? Eggs? Maybe, maybe they're out? I'd really like something to pick up. I didn't see that. What? I was like, I saw it in the corner of my eye. I wasn't looking right at it. Uh, it looked small and white. A wolf or something? <laughs> Do not enter. I think I'll enter. Wasn't it like the like super dark outside earlier. <laughs> it got bright all of a sudden. Is that music? Did they take Rose here? To this village? Wh 
What happened? I wonder if Ethan is gonna be more concerned with the things happening around him in this game. Because the last game he was just so casual about everything, it was weird. <laughs> Locked due to missing a homeowner. People are going missing? I was gonna say maybe I have to like hide in these, but they didn't close after going in. Did they just run out of the house? sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road and... What's going on? Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Okay, he's dead already. I kind of... I didn't expect him to die right away. <laughs> dead body? Wait, there's more. Okay, so they're dragging dead bodies underground. Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with this place? Huh. Gonna keep losing that hand, isn't he? No. What is that? Guard. 
Why do you take so long to reload? Okay. What the hell? He dragged me back up. A radio? <sighs> oh my god. <sighs> Should I be trying to escape? fighting these guys because I don't have a lot of bullets
Oh. My guys. What? Just give me, give me, give me. to run so I ran and I'm running I don't Damn care survive the attack but what if I don't where's the ammo give me the ammo I should not have like, run over here No more heal. <sighs> Be quiet. My goodness. Um. Oh, my God. What to do? 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 Oh, my God. How am I supposed to survive this? What? 
hot well fun. Um Explore here because there's like a bunch of items around here that I didn't pick up. I kind of figured that I wasn't supposed to die there. in death we give glory uh hello you shouldn't be out here it's not safe what the hell hey can you hear me uh, it's you the child's father child hey wait do you mean rose is she here <laughs> rose rose yes she is in great danger since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again! <laughs> Rose is here? Of course she locked me over here. Okay, look for Rose. Um, easier said than done. Okay. Weird. Okay. I want to <coughs> break it. church or something oh that's the lady one is in the church the other is in Louise's house and I'm assuming I have to go to Louise's house safe okay good um, 